Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George from Movie Misfit and today I get to check out Sammo Hung's classic Dead and the Deadly, released on Blu-ray from Eureka Video. Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, like the video and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. So here it is, released for the first time in the UK, Sammo Hung's underrated uh, horror comedy, The Dead and the Deadly, which I've always seen as another chapter of his Spooky Encounters tales, um, when Eureka Video are going to actually release Spooky Encounters 2, or Encounters of the Spooky Kind 2, would, uh, is, I don't know, I mean it would be nice if they would have followed with that first, and then The Dead and the Deadly. Um, regardless, it's finally here, I am so happy to have this movie on Blu-ray, it is absolutely one of my favourite Sammo Hung movies and while there's much less fight action than one would expect and much fight less uh, less fight action than there was in Encounters of Spooky Kind things like that um, it still is brilliant um, it's written by Sammo, produced by Sammo, directed by Wu Ma who also co-stars throughout um, and it was made in 1982 so at around this this time when Sammo's modern uh, move into movies like Winners and Sinners came soon after, things like that, and you had um, Cherry Chung in this uh, before her role in Winners and Sinners, and actually if I can remember correctly there is some um, elements of that funky soundtrack from Winners and Sinners that kind of uh, are similar throughout The Dead and The Deadly. So there's a lot to enjoy in here, uh, it's very inventive, uh, the scenes where Samo is dressed up as one of the paper dolls is one of my all-time favourites. He is phenomenal at this. It's such an amazing um, comic sequence. Uh, yes, there are a few fights and it can, they kind of come out more in the second half of the movie, if I can remember correctly. Um, but they're amazing. They are absolutely fan friggin tastic. Okay, so I have, uh, I'm going to get into this in one wee second, but I have had this movie now for some time on the Delta Mac DVD and it's not amazing looking. I mean, it's this, fuck, it's a terrible, terrible cover. Absolutely dreadful cover. Um, as you can see, and then on the back here, inside, a bit of a reverse cover there, but nothing. It's, it's definitely not as spectacular as what Darren Wheeling has uh, presented here. One of his better covers, I find, um, definitely, and kind of keeps in line with that Encounters of the Spooky Kind. And Mr. Vampire feel with that use of the neon green and the and the color uh, palette there. And uh, the only thing I think that it doesn't come with, uh, and I'm gonna just obviously air some disappointments about this release. Uh, as much as I am so happy that Eureka have put it out there, um, is I've had a quick read through there, and there's no poster comes with it, and I was really hoping. I think as well, Mr. Vampire. I didn't see a poster with that. Perhaps I don't have it up anyway. Um, but I have got the Encounters with Spooky Kind. It would have been nice to have this next to that poster. Anyway, regardless, um, beautiful cover here by Darren Wheeling. And I know that there were some last minute changes in the artwork when it was first announced. Um, so what comes with this? Limited edition no card slipcase featuring new artwork by Darren Wheeling. Uh, 1080p presentation on Blu-ray from a 2K restoration. Um, obviously Cantonese mixes their original theatrical and home video. Uh, English dub. Um, Newly translated subtitles, uh, feature length audio commentary by Frank Jiang and Michael Wirth. Another feature length audio commentary with Mike Leader and Arnold Venema. Uh, you have an archival interview and audience Q&A with Sam Hung. wonderful. Filmed at the 2016, filmed in 2016 at the Udine Far East Film Festival. Um, and then you've got the original Hong Kong theatrical trailer and reversible sleeve featuring original poster artwork plus a limited edition collector's booklet featuring new writings by James Oliver. Um, okay, cool. Running for 99 minutes. Here we go again. There's no minutes ever friggin printed on these Hong Kong DVDs. Anyway, uh, very, very excited. Honestly, it is an underrated Sammo Hung and one of my favourites. And I did have, funny enough, frick Jesus. Two or three months ago, I did compile this list uh, that I want to have been doing these top 10s or top 30s or whatever. Excuse me. And I did have a Sammo Hung, top 15 Sammo Hung movies I'd love to see on Blu-ray. And this was one of them. And of course, now I have to go back and sort of find another one to slot in there. Um, because as soon as I'd written this list, um, and my plan was to film it before this came out. But 
I haven't got around to it because life. Um, but yes, I now need to take that dead in the deadly out there and pop in something else. But regardless, yes, very, very fun movie. Very fun movie. Uh, Lam Ching Ying's in there also. Most of Sammo Hung's troupe, um, such as the Chan brothers, uh, Peter and Billy Chan. Um, Yun Bio doubling. Um, I believe Wu Ma in his fight action. Um, and of course, Cherry Chung and many others. But just a fantastic show. Um, all round. I just love it. I think it's just a wonderful piece. Okay, inside opens up with Darren Wheeling's cover on show there. Um, did I show the back of that O-ring? I don't know. Anyway, um, okay, so what do we got? Inside here we have got, as per usual, yes, yeah, so definitely no poster. So we have uh, the booklet here, which I'm excited for. Uh, lovely disc. Again, I love the colours connected with it with these uh releases um especially the horrors they seem to have a, a wee run with that the full uh cover here of darren's artwork and then on the other side i would have been just as happy with this because it is a cracker and the colors on it are amazing and uh, a bit of hong kong poster artwork there which is just beautiful and it would have left me struggling i have to say if a poster came with this it would have left me struggling with which side to go for as much as I do really enjoy uh, Darren's and I would love to have put it alongside Encounters of Spooky Kind. Uh, I do love the original piece as well. So I'm going to flip the original round since Darren has the O-ring um, and just slide that on in there. Very nice. Oh, beautiful. Lovely jubbly. Okay, inside again we have got this booklet. Let me just pop that out. <laughs> This is this is great. Now, see, the style that this is done in and how it's done again would make for uh, a fantastic comic book if Darren was to go down the line of creating this comic book of Samo's character um, with a host of these stories uh, uh, as a Ghostbuster as such. Um, I definitely think the potential is there. So here we have it: this uh, gorgeous front cover and on the back, an aged up Lam Jing Ying, who's very very funny in this. Um, uh, of course, going on to kind of be known as that Taoist master, uh, Mr. Vampire, um, with the success of that. Inside, the usual layout of uh, a Eureka book, of course, but not uh, something to turn your nose up at. Cause it's always quite good how it's laid out and designed and also usually makes for a great read. Um Wuma has been, uh, the late Wuma has been uh, an interesting director over the years, as much as he has been a star and so on. Um, and most times his directorial pieces aren't fabulous. They're fun, they can be um, exciting, but they're never known as some of the finest of Hong Kong films. Um, but I think definitely The Dead and the Deadly is one of his better ones, and I'm sure he's had had the backing there of Samo um, as an uncredited director throughout. So lovely booklet. Um, that's all there really is with that at the moment. I am going to go because I'm dying to check this out uh, and see it in its 2K glory. Oh, I cannot wait because that I, I'm going to put it up against the DVD. As, I, as I've always said, I always put the DVD on for 10 minutes, let that quality sink in so that when I pop this on, it blows me away and I have a funny feeling um, just with Eureka's track record that it's going to do that. So I will be back very, very soon to let you know what I think. Okay, so just back after checking out the Eureka video Blu-ray release of Sammo Hung's The Dead and the Deadly and I had an amazing time. Honestly, this is so much fun and I it's never looked better. Uh, for the most part, the picture is fan freaking tastic there's a few scenes in there that just due to the the quality of it um lag a little or drop a little grainy but that's fine i mean for the most part 90 percent of this film looks outstanding uh some of it is just it, it, it opened up a whole new world for me with the dead and the deadly because the dvd doesn't really give away too much with its quality but when you see it in the cinematography and the colors used it is phenomenal looking i watched it once obviously it's original language uh, with uh, in the theatrical mix with uh, English subtitles, of course, which was amazing. Um, I haven't listened to the Frank Jang um, audio commentary, uh, but the Mike Leader and Arna Venema one 
uh, fun as always. Um, it's always great listening to them uh, and again hearing some new things about this and hearing uh, the feedback on, from Mike on the making of The Dead and Deadly and Sammo Hung's uh, process of it, of course. Um, then you have got the the two special features and that's kind of all there is on here. Uh, and I suppose that's where part of the disappointment kind of comes in. Yes, there's two amazingly new special features there featuring Sammo Hung, but that's about it. Um, as I've said before, Eureka, if you ever need uh, an extra little video doco it threw in there, please give me a shout because I'm ready to go when you are. Uh, if you need content, let me know, not a problem. The Sammo Hung interview, um, very, very interesting. Both of these are wonderful and make a change from the rehashed Hong Kong Legends uh, stuff that we've seen now for 20 fucking years. Uh, with Eureka continuously to rehash them. Um, but the interview lasts for about 20 minutes. Very, very interesting. Um, and it's kind of just an extension of the next part, uh, which is the Q&A session, which lasts for 50, just 57, 58 minutes. So just under an hour. Um, so a very uh, lengthy Q&A and fantastic to hear um, Samo talking. And again, to, to see something fresh. And this is when he was at this festival uh premiering the bodyguard which uh has been his last directorial movie uh at that stage so yes um definitely well worth the watch uh, and then of course you have the trailer in there also um so regardless uh not too many disappointments on, uh gladly um but absolutely a double thumbs up from me a very underrated Sammo Hung movie glad that it's finally got a release here in the uk and yes it should be a part of your collection So there we have it folks, if you haven't already, please head on over to InvincibleAsia.com where you can check out as many full movie reviews on these movies from my collection that I can possibly write about. Follow me on Instagram at InvincibleAsia and at Movie Misfit, where I post bullet reviews and other things that I simply cannot put to video. And don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell here on the YouTube channel as well as checking out all my other content. Thank you so much for your support and until next time, enjoy your Kung Fu and I will see you soon.